anybody that knew Steve knew he was uh, a genuine guy. But with the Jasons and more importantly with Steve Dash, it was just, you know what, he couldn't wait to get up there and talk about the series and not only being a great ambassador towards the Friday the 13th series, you know, he was a good man. He always did like community theater. He always did. He always had the acting bug. And I think he had like, um, I think a lot of it was ego too. You know, like when his creative juices were flowing, he would go and do community theater and, and things like that. And I think that was where he really got the bug. Now I always sign mine, the real Jason. And the reason I sign it, the real Jason, is because the first guy that got fired went around and said he was Jason, and he wasn't. And still, till his last autograph, I'm sure, wrote the real Jason. For some reason, that never, it never offended me at all because I understood what he was saying. Not only that, all the other Jasons that are in the film, they're only there because I turned down number three. Steve will always remind you effing guys wouldn't have this effing job if I hadn't let you the job. Because if I'd have known what I know today then, I'd have done them all. If I'd have known then what I know now about the franchise, that it was such a, I would have did it for nothing. You kept going. Yeah, of course. It's a great franchise. But I didn't know back then. Back then it was a low budget uh, film. It wasn't, it wasn't anything, you know. He did appreciate the fans, never had anything bad to say about any appearance or and I, I did a lot of appearances with him. I do a show, he'd do a show. He did quite a few shows and I got to crash a few of them uh, and of course when you get a chance to ha hang out with Kane and Steve Dash up on uh, stage in a panel, uh, the unexpected, expected. Are we done? Thank God. Okay. <laughs>